Brandon Hartson went an entire season without having a single error. But what people might not know is that he has also been talked about since last season as a future NFL deep snapper. Brandon, with such talk as you going into the NFL after you graduate, how have you stayed so focused on your academics? Uh, just uh, my family. Uh, I was raised by a wonderful grandmother and grandfather. Um, they taught me grades at first. Um, I have a wonderful son. So uh, if NFL doesn't work out, you know, I'm trying to go to physical therapy school so I can take care of them. So just my future, just taking care of my family and taking care of myself, basically. Well, congratulations, Brandon. Go and enjoy your award. Thank you very much. Bryce, your dedication really showed this season. All your hard work in the offseason has really paid off. Talk a little bit about your work that you put on in the offseason to have such a successful season. Uh, I try to just do everything I can to, to help myself get on the field, and I feel like the more I help myself, the more I help the team. So um, any extra work I can do to, to help myself and, and to earn a certain job, I try to do. So, I mean, uh, it, it paid off for me this year. You've also had... Uh, this is your redshirt sophomore year, so you're still early on in your career. What goals do you have going into next season? Uh, I, I want to be all-conference next season, and then obviously I want to be able to start again. So it's a real competitive um, system we have here, and I just want to be able to keep my starting spot. So that's, that's my goal is just to, just to keep starting and uh, to help the team win a conference championship. Right, thanks so much, Bryce. Congratulations. Justin, congratulations on being the Offensive Scout Team MVP. Scout Team is really something that's so vital to every football program, but it's a position that often, you know, you don't see it in the stat sheets, and it's one that often seems like you don't get a lot of recognition. So how special is it to be honored with this award, and what does it mean to you? Man, I just, I just like how they just took the chance out just to look at me and just see that I'm doing hard work because, I mean, we actually play for them, and whatever they do, we mimic what they do, and so... Just to see them do good, that, that's what I really all need. But to get this award really means a lot to me. Thank you so much, Justin. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm here with special teams MVPs Matt Hogan and Richie Leone. Richie, you've just set the record for yards per punt with 45.5. You're now a U of H record holder. What does winning this award mean to you? It means uh, it means uh, it means a lot. It's uh, you know a special honor to have to hold here, and uh, you know I've learned a lot from uh, NCAA record holder this guy right here, which is a little bit better than uh, just a school record. Absolutely. And Matt, you've had such an outstanding career at U of H. You're truly a, a phenomenal special teams player. You've set more records than any other special teams player at this school. What is your favorite memory from U of H? Uh, it's got to be Tulsa when I was a freshman. You know, I tried to top it in the last three years I had, but, you know, that one's just always got to come back to me as the favorite one ever. Congratulations. You guys both enjoy your awards. Thanks a lot. I'm here with defensive MVP Philip Stewart. Philip, a lot of people might not know that your stats this season were so outstanding. He actually had 25 more tackles than Notre Dame's Monty Teo. So with stats like that, don't you think you should be considered for the Heisman? Well, most people in the room might consider that. <laughs> Very good, but all kidding aside, Philip, you've had a truly outstanding career here at the University of Houston. Your statistics and your career have been comparable to some of the best, like Lamar Lathan and Gary McGuire. What has stood out most to you from this season, and what are your favorite memories from playing here? Well, I think what stood out the most is uh, I became more involved in with the tackling. You know, last year we had Marcus and all other good players, but I think this year I came involved with more of the tackling than being in the back end with the DB. So. I think that was probably my fondest. My memory uh, might be when we beat Rice at uh, Reliance Stadium and got the Bayou bucket back on the uh, U of A side. So, yeah. Very good. Well, no matter what your plans are for the future, Philip, and wherever you end up playing on Sundays, Cougar Faithful will always be rooting for you, man. All right, thank you. All right, Philip. I'm here with offensive MVP Charles Sims. Charles, this season was very difficult. You had a lot of injuries to overcome. What does winning this award mean to you? Oh, I feel great, you know. I had fun this season, you know. I had fun with my teammates. You know, I feel good to, you know. Accomplish, you know. Absolutely. So you now have three years under your belt at U of H. Do you feel like you've accomplished all that you set out to? Uh, yeah, I feel like I did. You know, I feel like I'm old, so <laughs> I feel like I've been here for a while. But yeah, I think I did pretty well. Very good. Well, congratulations on your award. Go enjoy it. Thank you. I'm here with committed Cougar Award winner Shane Ross. Shane, you've truly had an outstanding career here. You were given a chance on scout team and on special teams, and you really made something of yourself this year. You were phenomenal on offense and really stepped up. How important is it for these guys, and especially in your career, to commit yourself early on and do the hard work as a freshman going up? 
Yeah, I think it just shows that the hard work does pay off and not to give up on your dream if you have one. I always dreamed of playing college football and I had two injuries in high school and thought it might be taken away, but with hard work and determination, it, it paid off in the end. And this award, so much is around it. The Committed Cougar Award really means a lot. What does it mean to you? It means a lot. Um, I'm honored to be uh, considered for this award by Coach Levine and the other coaches and whoever decides on it, but it's an honor and uh, I'm really proud of myself for, for getting it. Well, congratulations. Go enjoy your night. Thank you.